It's going to be a lively weekend of weather. Some intense storms are likely during Saturday. Lots of hail, thunder and lightning. Not everywhere we'll see them, but where they do occur, they could cause some issues. Low pressure is dominating out to the west. These two kind of dumbbelling around each other before merging into one area of low pressure. This weather front will eventually introduce fresher conditions, but ahead of it, with the low here, the winds are being drawn up from the south and hence with it, warm and humid air. It's going to be a difficult night for sleeping Friday night into Saturday morning. Temperatures are likely to start the weekend in the mid to high teens in urban areas. So a, a warm start and it'll be a fairly hot and humid day, certainly across the east. Further west, that weather front will be approaching, initially bringing cloud and some showers, but increasingly through the morning, the chance of those showers turning into thunderstorms, initially over parts of Wales, Northern Ireland, then spreading to the Midlands, up into Scotland and parts of eastern England as well. Behind it, actually, Wales turning drier and southwest England, actually, after maybe a cloudy start, seeing some good spells of sunshine through the afternoon. And elsewhere, the showers will be hit and miss. Not everywhere will catch one of those intense downpours. But the bright colours there suggesting that where they do occur, I said a lot of rain in a short space of time, hail, lightning and gusty winds. Temperatures will again be pretty high across these eastern parts, 28, 29, maybe close to 30 Celsius. A warmer day in the northwest of Scotland as well. But on the east coast, with the breeze coming in from the sea, it'll probably be a little cooler for Aberdeen, 20 Celsius here, and starting to turn cooler further west as that weather front starts to pull away. So, as I said, plenty going on on Saturday. The heaviest downpours likely to be through the afternoon into the early evening. A couple of areas we'll be looking at through the Midlands and east. Eastern England has said torrential downpours possible, but they will be hit and miss. And then the risk perhaps transferring a little further north through the late afternoon into the evening time of the parts of northern England and Scotland. Again, you can see some bright colours there indicative of some pretty vicious thunderstorms, gusty winds hailstones and uh, some disruption is possible. So keep up to date with the latest as these storms develop during Saturday. We'll see this weather front moving through. That will bring the storms, but will also usher in cooler conditions through Saturday night and into Sunday. That low pressure stays milling around here, but the weather front just sweeps away the humidity, so it will be a cooler night. It always takes a while for houses and the like to cool down, but it, it will be a fresher start, certainly, on Sunday morning compared to Saturday morning. For many, it'll be a dry and a bright start as well with uh, quite a bit of blue sky. Still the remnants of that weather front bringing some heavy downpours perhaps to the Northern Isles for a time and some gusty winds here too. And then on Sunday we will see further showers developing. We're in the fresher air now so these not likely to be the same kind of beasts in terms of their intensity but nevertheless some heavy showers likely to develop for Northern Ireland, Wales, central and southern parts of England. Parts of Northern England, southern Scotland may stay largely dry. Still quite breezy, it'll be a blustery weekend on western coasts but eastern areas seeing relatively light winds during Sunday and a fresher feel as well. Temperatures back close to where they have been for much of this week into the high teens, low 20s. Still quite a humid feel, perhaps across the east, but generally fresher compared to Saturday. It won't be as humid and temperatures say much closer to average, as they will be, in fact, for most of next week. We're back to cool and showery for much of next week. Keep up to date with the latest forecast, please, through the weekend. Best way to do that is follow us right across social media.